Hey everyone, and welcome back to Onboard Tangroa. Did you catch last episode? It was all about getting Tangroa ready for storm season in the Pacific Northwest, including our very first bomb cyclone. Hey everyone, and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangroa. Two years ago, we decided it was time for our family to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. Today I'm at the Skin Cancer Clinic because the joys of living on boats in the tropics for such a long time is I've got little cancer cells on my nose. Um, so I have to have them dealt with. I don't know, my doctor usually freezes them off, but this time she sent me to a skin cancer specialist and I know Blaine has had problems um, with skin cancer. I was like, he's actually had a big chunk cut of his shoulder. It's probably from surfing and, be, and living in you know, St. Thomas. So I'm just reading some stuff with regards to sunspot. It's really important to use zinc. And then something to consider also is making sure your sunscreen is um, reef friendly. Let's say that. I guess I can say that. But yeah, I'll let you guys know what happens. I'm a little bit scared because this hurts. And yeah. So today's the day. Um, I have to go in for a biopsy on my nose. Right there. Can you see it? Right there. Um, I'm going by myself. Lane's working. And I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, I have to say. Serves me right for getting my nose burnt. You know when you're a kid and your nose gets burnt and you're peeling all the time? That was me in the tropics, like huge. So it serves me right. I should definitely be wearing more sunscreen, but um, yeah, biopsy time on the schnoz. That wasn't much fun. Actually, that just downright sucked. Kind of makes me regret having to, having had sunburned my nose so much, but look, I don't know if you can see it, whatever. They cut a chunk out of my nose. Actually, Sorry. It hurt so much, but it's a freezing. Did it ever hurt? And I know I'm being a bit of a wuss, but that is such a tender part. It's been hurting me for, for so long. And I got a bit overwhelmed in there. But the chunk is cut out, so I go back in a week and get stitches taken out. I don't know how many stitches I have. I'll let you know in a couple days when I'm able to take off the bandage. But yeah, not fun. see the stitches. Guess what time it is? Time to get my stitches out. Quick interruption, we are on Patreon now. So head on over to onboardtangroa.com and come join our community. Join our Tangroa crew and we'll see you on the inside. Do you see them? The little black stitches. It actually healed up quite nice. They feel really weird to touch right now. But time to get the stitches out and see what the scoop is with my nose. Okay, we're, we're in the doctor's room. It's time to get my stitches out and I'll have to let you know how it goes. Um, hopefully he tells me what the results of the biopsy is. I don't know why they used black stitches. It seriously looks like I have a massive black head on my nose. But yeah, let's get them out and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't hurt as much as putting them in because that really hurt and I just don't feel like crying today. So the stitches are out. It just hurt a little bit because he had to actually take a scab off. I guess my skin was starting to scab over the stitches, which is never really good. Um, we're not going to find out the results because labs are behind right now. So it's going to take a couple more weeks of trying to figure out what is going on with my nose. So I'll keep you guys updated. That part. Okay, I'm going to keep this off. My poor nose. I 
he had troubles taking the stitches off, Blaine. He did? Well, he, the, my skin grew over the stitches, so he had to take off a scab. Oh, that doesn't sound good. No, it wasn't. Where the heck? Okay. <laughs> And suddenly it's gone. What do you guys think? Not bad. A little polysporin. Can't even tell anything was wrong with my nose. I'm impressed with the stitches. But yeah, two to three weeks, people, and we'll find out what the results are of the biopsy. Back at the doctor's office, um, the results came in. They didn't tell me over the phone, so he wanted to see me. So he called me in for the next morning, and here I am. So. Um, Kind of weird that they wouldn't tell me about the phone, but ah, we'll see what happens. So good news, not cancer, but it's pre-cancer. Um, he looked all over my face too, and there's spots here. That's the joys of, you know, I spent five years in the tropics chasing summer around the world on boats, and I'm paying for it now in my older age. But we have to do, it's just called Effudex, which is like a cream I've got to put on, and it's basically going to slough off all the bad cells on my whole face it's gonna be like i don't know if i'm totally looking forward to it um but yeah let's do that and see what happens let's get rid of all the yucky cells on my face and skin damage and all that it's gonna be like a super facial but this cream is gonna take off all the bad stuff so as i'm driving i will update you on the skin cancer stuff some of the skin cancer precancerous so I've been putting, it's really bumpy though. Maybe not a good time. But anyways, I've been putting on Florex cream twice a day. It's so itchy my head. You can see where it's starting to pull out the bad cells. It's starting to come off my face. And I guess those are gonna crust over and um, go bye-bye. But I wear my two cup here because my forehead is so itchy from this cream, but it's working. It's just so pretty. Look at all those nice red spots. I feel like I'm a teenager again. I'm back in the skin cancer clinic. I've been using this cream for a week right now. It's so easy. Anyways, it looks like it's working. Lots of red marks. Lots up here. Pressure on my nose. It's so bad. Bad cells. So, but it is so easy. Um, that makes me wish I wore sunscreen as I did. But we'll see what uh, the doctor says. Update a week and a half of using the cream and look at my face. It is so horrible and so itchy. I look like I have chicken pox, but these are all bad skin cells coming out. So itchy. Ugh. Oh well. I have to use it for five more days and I'll give you an update. It is day what? 12 of using the Effudex on my face and check it out. It looks horrible. We've got all stuff there, there, all around. This is all bad, bad, bad skin cells. Oh, and it's so itchy. You are molting. I am molting, oh, Blaine. When you are done, you will be a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> I'm finished. Finally, I'm a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I have finished molting. I am now a beautiful butterfly, as Blaine would say. But check it out. Skin is clear. I know I've got headphones on because I'm editing right now. Forehead's clear. No more itch. I can wear my toque down again. And yeah, everything's good. I have to go back and check with the skin doctor yearly now to monitor. And I also went in for a full check and he checked every mole and freckle on my entire body. And trust me, I am moly. Okay? But it's all been checked, we're good. Just gotta go check them or get rechecked in a year and monitor. So this is, I'm gonna do a little PSA here, public service announcement. Go get your skin checked and wear sunscreen. This summer, it's gonna be all about mineral-based sunscreen. If you've got any suggestions, check them below. We really appreciate it. Yeah, that was my skin cancer scare. All done. So thankful that it actually wasn't skin cancer.